Good Tuesday morning, each of you. I hope you are having a beautiful day. I am going to share with you this morning um, something that one of my good friends shared, and you may have seen it, but if you have not, it um, is beautiful and lovely. So my friend Nancy Pennington shared this, and it is from Andy Stanley, which many of you may know because you may have done his Bible studies before. And it says, sometimes I just want it to stop. The talk of COVID, of looting, of brutality. I lose my way. I become convinced that this new normal is our real life. Then I meet an 87-year-old who talks of living through polio, diphtheria, Vietnam protests, and yet is still enchanted with life. He seemed surprised when I said that 2020 must be especially challenging for him. No, he said slowly, looking me straight in the eyes. I learned a long time ago not to see the world through printed headlines. I see the world through the people that surround me. I see the world with the realization that we love big. Therefore, I just choose to write my own headlines. Husband loves wife today. Family drops everything to come to grandma's bedside. He patted my hand. Old man makes new friend. His words collide with my worries, freeing them from the tether I had been holding tight, and they float away. I am left with a renewed spirit and a new way to write my own headlines. And as I said, this was written by Andy Stanley. But to me, what a beautiful and peaceful way to live in what is going on right now. It's hard. It's hard for those who are lonely. It's hard for those who are ill. It's hard for those who are trying to do what is right for those that they love or just for those who want to make a good decision for their neighbor. But right now, the best that we can do is to make our own headlines find joy in the love that God places in our lives. And you know, as I was sitting here speaking with you, I realized the chaos in the background because I'm still finishing my basement and getting everything completely settled and pictures hung and items put away. So there's still a box in the background. But the joyful thing is there is a picture sitting on that rocker of my children when my now 10 year old was one and my now 14 year old was five and my now 19 year old was 10. So that is my headline for today. Mom finds joy in photos and memories. Make your headlines. We know God is with us in these difficult times. We know God loves us desperately. Share that love with one another. And although it's hard and although it's tricky, try to sometimes when you start to feel that angst and that frustration in whatever the event may be, See if you can find a loving view of it. See if you can rewrite that headline and create joy in that moment. If nothing else, just in your own heart, for your own health and emotional well-being. And just maybe that joy in your eyes that comes from your heart 
become contagious to others. It's tough for us all. Our Father is with us. We can write our own headlines. I hope you find some amazing headlines to enjoy this week, my friends. And I hope to see you back here next Tuesday.